A stadium known by many names these days. Sun Life Stadium is the home for this matchup between the Saints and the Dolphins. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Saints ready here for the kickoff. They're setting up return. And he's out across the 20 and tackled at the... Twenty one. Miller's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and ten. This is a screen play all the way. He's going to be tackled right around the twenty one yard line. When you're a quarterback thrown against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it. And the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Second down, even after the completion. The throw to the left. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Tannehill connects with Hartline. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. It's handed to the running back. He's headed right. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. Back to the ground now on first down. A tackle behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. First down and 10, and he'll go to the left. Fumble. They recover their own fumble. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and Keep possession of the football. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Second down after the incompletion. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Throws to the right. He fires it in there tight. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. 
mounting a serious drive. First and goal. Looks to his left. Pass is made, but the hit knocks the ball out. Incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. This will be the 11th play of the drive. Ball is out, getting sacked. A recovery by the defense. And it's Jonathan Vilma who makes the stop. Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground, and the defense recovers. We have a review coming from the booth. I think what we need to do here, let's stop it when the knee hits the ground. And once we stop it, let's look at the football. Does he have possession of it completely at that time? If he does, then it's going to be down. The runner will be down before the fumble occurs. Third down after the sack. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Dives across, and he's in for the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Dolphins set to kick it. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Receiving team. First down. down offense readying for the snap takes it from the eye and for about six that was a running play that time by the offense it picked up some good yards nothing like it show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards <laughs> that time the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage listen i blame this one on the quarterback when you see the defense in a situation like that you must change the play don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. Moore's lined up now as a slot receiver. That's an interception. Touchdown. Not too often, Jim, do you see a defensive lineman get lucky enough or talented enough to make an interception and then show good running skills and take it all the way back for a touchdown. This guy has got some talent. Extra point was good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. lined up as the single back and Sproles gets the football nice run that time by the running back and if they keep running the football like this it's just a matter of time before they fake it and throw that football over the top of the defense they are being physical the running back doing a good job and they are making it happen in the running game today back to the ground running to the right 
has a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Lined up in the pistol formation. Play fake here. Wide open for the catch. Well, if you want to be a good play-action pass team, it's always nice to have a good running game. Make the defense dig in and try to stop your run. When they do that, you fool them. You fake it, you throw it down the field. That, that's, that's about as easy as it gets. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down and a long way to go. Incompletion on that hurry throw. going to get set in the slot for this snap. He's going deep. Run that in for the touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The defense stops the clock. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Flip to the outside. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Dolphins are back deep waiting for the kick. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Welcome back, we're about to get back underway here in this one. On first down, looking for an open receiver on the right. And the tackle is made at the 48 yard line. Well, they call it the post route because you're running towards the goal post but a good route that time by the wide receiver, making that cut. He gets open, gets behind the defense, and a nice throw. They've got a first down now after that catch. Oh, almost caught. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a quarter route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. The Dolphins are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Heart lines lined up in the slot. Third and ten. Looking long to Mike Wallace, but it's incomplete. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Two tight ends on the field here. Interception. They've got him down there. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. Saints will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten. Darren Sproles takes the football. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. 
When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. He's got the grab and he's got the first. What a job by the running back that time, taking the short pass and getting those extra yards down the field. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Thomas is going to take the handoff now. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Breeze in shotgun formation. Looking across the middle. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Thomas lined up in the backfield. Third and seven. The pass down the field by makes the catch. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. The defense comes out in the nickel. Now first and ten. Tannehill on target and finds Mike Wallace with the completion. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. Jim, that pass ends up incomplete because the defender, he just jarred the football loose with that hit. Nice job, get that shoulder into the receiver, knock that football out, and get it to the ground. Third and two, the pass is off the mark, and that's a three and out. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. Throws the pass. Ball's picked off. Linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice catch. Colston's in the slot. Collins is going to receive the toss. That's a tackle at the 48. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. 
What a run by Thomas. When you see long runs like that by a running back, a lot of things have to happen. Of course, he has good vision and he has talent, but how about those blocks down the field, those blocks in the secondary? That's what creates long runs. Colston's lined up now as a slot receiver. Staying with the running game on first down. They bring him down at the 29-yard line. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That second down coming up. They beat him the ball again. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Two-minute warning. The Saints lined up in the pistol. They'll stay on the ground on first down. Brought down just two yards shy of the first down marker. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Thomas in the backfield, single back set. The handoff, running behind the tackle. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do, and stop the offense for a short game. The Saints will approach this play from out of the pistol. Searching for space to the right. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone. But there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. Sproles going to lose yards here. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. The Saints line up in the pistol offense. Play action. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Interception. Taking off. He's in the clear. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. He's in for the touchdown. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the interception perfectly. You make the catch, and you take it all the way back to the score. So they get the touchdown, but they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Drew Brees has it under center. First and 10, and the give to Pierre Thomas. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Makes the grab, good for 18. The Saints, one timeout remaining. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Mavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. There is nothing like the long throw down the field where the quarterback throws it high and far. What a throw, what a catch. Just excellent execution. Didn't result in a touchdown, but still a special play. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Sproles is going to secure the handoff. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. And as the first half comes to a close, we'll take a quick break before the beginning of the second half here in South Florida. We're back here now in this one, where the Dolphins lead by four. It looks like the onside kick's going to pay off here. Kicking team appears to have the ball. Yes, yes, yes. 
Millers lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Almost intercepted that time. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. And Walla is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Third and a long way to go, eyeing that left side. That catch gives them a first down. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First and ten. Will go Brown. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Wide receivers are bunched up. Second and 13. Catch is made. Steps out of bounds. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. A reception on second down, but not enough for the first. Third down. Throwing now to his left. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You are not going to be an accurate quarterback, of course, when you're under this kind of this pressure. Doesn't even have time to set his feet. Another throw offline. The Dolphins in the pistol. Play clock's running down. They motion the receiver around to the other side. He'll fire it out to the left. What a spectacular reception. Nice job by the coach that time going forward on fourth down. His team is up here in the second half. He wants to keep momentum on his side. That's why he goes for it, and they get it. That reception gave them the first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Touchdown! This offense, even though they had the lead, they do not sit on it. They are aggressive, they take risks, and what a good. Two, looking for a receiver, put an additional two points on the board as they convert. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. up with extra defensive backs in the dime the Saints get a first down the quarterback see cover four four defensive backs playing back against the deep passes they know they're gonna look for underneath or crossing routes that time a good throw by the quarterback to the receiver going across the field gain of seven this is probably the worst defense in the NFL when it comes to pass coverage four defensive backs all playing deep afraid to give up the big pass that's great you don't give up the big pass, but you give up an awful lot of short ones, especially in cuts going across the field. 
Thomas lined up in the backfield. On second and three, throws to the right. That catch will extend the drive. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Drew Brees has it under center. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff. Running play went for 11. First down by the offense inside the red zone. Can the defense show them something different here and keep them from scoring a touchdown? And he gains maybe three. Well, here you go. This is going to be a big call in the game, Jim. You're down. You're down here on the goal line. You've got to find a way to punch it in. Second down coming up. Tom touchdown, and this game is tight. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. The Saints line up now for the point after. Oh, he actually misses the point after. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting to return the kick. And he'll start his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Dolphins come out in the pistol. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off. Breaks free. Has going to take it the distance. He's at the 50. The 40. The 30. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down. Move those chains and keep this offense going. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Looking to scramble. They pounce on him there. Number 17 and run. One yard gain on the play. Second down now. He'll fire it out to the left. Flying into the air and makes the catch. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Miller's handed the football. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. the first down good play call that time by the offensive coordinator down inside when you're inside the 20-yard line or the red zone find ways to complete the pass they did that time so first and goal to go tossing it to the running back he's in the end zone touchdown that's uh, just an awful job wasn't it by the defense i mean it's first and goal well you know it's going to be a run or i think you should be playing run the defense not ready they get overpowered and they give up the running touchdown. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. Trying to work the got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it.
Moore's lined up in the slot. Breeze leans on his tight end this time. Jimmy Graham with the catch. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Out of the shotgun formation. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. The Saints with the PAT to come. The point after try is in the books. Saints ready here for the kickoff. They stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. We'll have one more play before the quarter expires. Ryan Tannehill will take it from the gun. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. Lined up in the pistol formation. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. Second down and 10. He's going to the left. It's Malcolm Jenkins who makes the tackle. 15 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. The Dolphins will go with the pistol on this play. Final quarter underway now with this snap. They go to the right side. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. That is a nice job by the running back there. He knew it was third and short, so he put that big old body up in there and grinds out the first down. The wide receiver in motion. and 10 and they go back to the ground left side and he's tackled at the 32 yard line good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting and they hold the running back to a short game Trying to beat the play clock. Dustin Keller makes the catch. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. They go ground here. They run right. Drives ahead for four. Play number six coming up on this drive. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Second and six. They'll run it with him again. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you have an offense like this that just keeps getting first downs, 
not only are they moving in scoring position, but they're giving their defense a lot of rest. Setting up in the pistol on this play. First and 10, and Wallace got it on the handoff. He's got room. Tackled at the 13. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. This will be the eighth play of this drive. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. They motion the receiver around to the other side. And the give to Lamar Miller, able to get about a yard out of that. Tim, there's just nothing like just controlling the football game. You got a lead, and now here your offense is on the field and just marching right down it. Left side. The Dolphins are across for the touchdown. Tight ends are so valuable down on the goal line. They're able to maneuver inside. Easy to get defenders to run into each other uh, to get open to score. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two point conversion. Better hurry to get the snap. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. And it looks like the kicking teams recovered the onside kick. 